for the Major League Baseball player, Stevens Coleman. Patrick Vincent Coleman was a train dispatcher for the Canadian government railways who was killed in the Halifax explosion. Today he is remembered as one of the heroic figures from the disaster. On the morning of 6 December 1917, the 45-year-old Coleman and Chief Clark William Lovett were working in the depot station near the foot of Richmond Street, only a few hundred feet from Pier 6. From there, trains were controlled on the main line into Halifax. The line ran along the western shore of Bedford Basin from Rockingham Station to the city's passenger terminal at the North Street Station, located at the corner of Barrington and North Streets. The telegraphed warnings were apparently heeded, as the number 10 passenger train was stopped just before the explosion occurred. The train was halted at Rockingham Station, on the western shore of Bedford Basin, approximately 6.4 kilometers from the downtown terminal. After the explosion, Coleman's message, followed by other messages later sent by railway officials who made their way to Rockingham, passed word of the disaster to the rest of Canada. The railway quickly mobilized aid, sending a dozen relief trains with fire and medical help from towns in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick on the day of the disaster, followed two days later by help from other parts of Canada and from the United States most notably Boston. Even though Love had left the station, both he and Coleman were killed in the explosion. Vince Coleman was also the subject of a Heritage Minute, and was a prominent character in the CBC miniseries Shattered City. The Halifax Explosion. The Heritage Minute and other sources contain historical inaccuracies in that Coleman is shown warning others in the area surrounding the depot station of the impending explosion. In reality the Richmond station was surrounded by freight yards. Another error is the exaggeration of the number of passengers aboard the St. John train. It contained a maximum of 300 people, not 700 as claimed in the Heritage Minute, though the 700 number is given in dialogue by Coleman who is urgently trying to contact the train, and it can't be said for certain that he knew exactly how many were aboard. The warning message is also changed. Coleman's telegraph key, watch and pen are on display in the Halifax Explosion exhibit at Halifax's Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. Coleman is interred at Mount Olivet Cemetery in Halifax, at the intersection of Mumford Road with Joseph Howard Drive. He was survived by his wife Frances, who lived until 1970. A street is named after him in the Clayton Park neighborhood of Halifax and in 2007 a section of Albert Street near his old home, was renamed Vincent Street. A condominium near Mount Olivet Cemetery on Bears Road is named the Vincent Coleman, also in his honor. Coleman was inducted into the Canadian Railway Hall of Fame in 2004.